the king of comedy, the one and only king of comedy, Alibaba, one of Nigeria, turned 50 this week. Celebrities from all over wished him a happy birthday on social media during the day, and then there was a ton of session at night at Muson Center. 50 is not a small number, it's not. So I am wishing you a happy belated birthday. Meanwhile, guess what his wife gave him? Guess. An S class, a Mercedes Benz, as birthday present. It doesn't get better than that. Well, actually, it does. A private jet would be much better. But yeah, <laughs> she did well. She did well. So cool. Welcome to the gist. I'm your host, Toyosi Phillips. The gist. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. I have a good show for you today. Joining me later in the studio is Latasha Ungube, editor of Pride Magazine and a columnist with Vanguard Allure. She has a weekly column titled Side Talk and Catwalks, and her most recent one made me gasp. In it, she talked about a run-in she had with Mo Cheddar. And honestly, if I were to describe Latasha in one word, it would be fearless. She'll be joining me later in the studio. So let me give you this week's gist. See, eh, people's destiny can turn around in one second. One minute you're outside the door, the next minute another door has opened for you with red carpet. So I told you last week how Whiskey's MTN contract was not renewed. Guess who signed him on in less than a week? Glow. Imagine. Glow. One week you are yellow, the next you are green. And you guys know that Uncle Mike. Yes, he's my uncle. Uncle Mike, I don't guy, doesn't play. Rumor has it that he signed a two-year deal said to be worth about 100 million naira. I told you my uncle does not play. Hi, uncle. <laughs> and even if it's not 100 million, I'm sure it will be close. So congratulations to Whiskey. Talking about endorsement deals, Ola Mide renewed his Etsy Salad contract this week for another year. He posted this picture on Instagram and captioned it, hashtag renewal, hashtag Etsy Salad, thank you for believing in me, hashtag Shakiti Bobo. Oh, this week, Asha announced that she'll be performing in London in August. She has performed in other cities in Europe already, including Paris and Barcelona and Hamburg. So yes, London is going to be graced by her presence soon. She'll be at Covent Garden, so you guys can work on getting your tickets now. Still on Nigerian artist, Sheyi she got signed this week by Island Records, the UK division of Universal Music Group. Now, Island Records is home to Dizzy Rascal, Drake, Jesse J, Ariana Grande, so this is good stuff. Hopefully, though, she'll be allowed to express and stay true to herself. Regardless, it's still a wonderful platform, so congratulations. And it's nice seeing celebrities flaunt their baby bombs. Karen Ego, who won Big Brother Africa in 2011 and got married last year, shared pictures of herself this week looking beautiful in this figure hugging dress. Now, pregnancy specialists say she looks like she's in her second trimester. Me, I don't know. I just know that she looks good and that's a beautiful dress. And actress Stephanie Okereke was also seen with her baby bomb. She got married in France in 2012 and this will be her first child. She was invited to the Buckingham Palace by the Queen of England this week for a youth leaders event. And she was there with her husband who looked quite dapper in his suit, just everything fitting properly, just looking very nice. Yes, it was nice. It was really nice actually. Seeing Nigeria represented at the Buckingham Palace event, they were there and so was this young Nigerian girl, Inkechi Azinge, who was honored by the queen herself for the sickle cell foundation that she runs. She was one of the four Nigerians honored by the queen. You go girl. And what's entertainment news without the Kardashians? Please, it's time for a new segment on this show called Kardashian Update, Kardashian Update, Kardashian Update! Yay! Let's start with Kim. Apart from her getting a surprise guest this week at her hotel room in Cannes, some woman was knocking on her door at 4 a.m. She was visibly drunk and then she started flashing, you know, she just opened her clothes, closed it, opened her clothes, closed it till the police came, whatever. Anyway, just another day in the Kardashian life. But apart from that happening, news went around this week that she selected only male embryos during her IVF treatment, hence the boy that she's having now. So, we had two debates in the office. The first was the pronunciation of embryo. Some said embryo, some said embryo. But don't Nigerians say embryo? Isn't it embryo we call it? And anyway, Google says embryo. So, 
I'm sure you can tell which side of the debate I was on. <laughs> So the second debate was the issue of pre-selecting the gender of the baby. Someone even said that there's technology now to choose up to the color of the baby's eyes. I don't know. Is that not like playing God? But again, technology is amazing. It has improved the quality of life of billions of people around the world. But where do we draw the line? I don't know, really. Just thinking out loud. Let me know in the comment section. Will you choose the gender and color of your baby's eyes if you could afford to? Let me know. On to Scott and Courtney, still in the Kardashian family. Rumor has it that Courtney has kicked Scott out of their house. That he was caught cheating. With who now? I don't know. But you know that Scott makes a living of hosting parties. So he's always in one city or the other hosting parties. And when you host a party, there have to be shorties. And you know, when shorties are there, anything can happen. So yeah, Scott was allegedly caught cheating. And he has been allegedly kicked out of the house by Courtney. I hope they fight through this one. This is not the first time it will be out of the house. And guess who is counting down to August 10? Kylie Jenner. That's when she turns 18 and people can stop accusing her boyfriend, Tiger, of dating an underage girl. Tiger, by the way, dropped an album just like Beyonce did. Suddenly, suddenly, nobody knew and apparently is getting good reviews. And he's also starting his own reality show on MTV this summer. It's called Kingin with Tiger. This is a clip from the trailer. Wanna go change? <laughs> Me and my crew, Tabrell. Want me to spend the money to mess it up? You know how we do it. Catherine. Why do I have to carry this? SB. Better have a plan B, bruh. And that's almost 40 grand on the toilet. You're gonna do some crazy things. Now, wow. What the quite serious? Okay, we'll see. And that's the end of Kardashian Update. Kardashian Update. Kardashian Update. Kardashian Update. on to Mariah Carey. Mariah seems to be a happy girl right now. She's been spending a lot of time with a new friend who happens to be the fourth richest man in Australia worth over four billion dollars. Kai! What can Mariah do that I cannot do? There were rumors this week of her already talking marriage with this guy, with her new boo, but E! Online says that's just a rumor, that they've been together for less than two weeks, and she's just enjoying being courted, and is technically still married to Nick Cannon. Their divorce is not final, so she can't be getting married to somebody else, but good for her. She actually seems happy in all the pictures that we've seen of her with this guy, so good for her. And Holly Madison from Girls of the Playboy Mansion has released a book. See, I really want to read this book. It's called Down the Rabbit Hole. And in it, she talks about Hugh Hefner. In fact, she talks a lot about Hugh Hefner. In fact, the book is about her time in the Playboy Mansion and how it was being one of Hef's girlfriend. This Baba, I don't know how he was doing it with all these girls. She talked about being emotionally and verbally abused by Hugh Hefner. And some other weird things like the group sex they had and what sleeping with him was light she went in and of course Hef released a statement saying something about her just looking for attention because she has been irrelevant for what seven years now that she hasn't been on the show but holly is happily married she has a show in vegas she was on the wendy show this week and she actually said that she felt it was the right time to share her story so it's not about her looking for attention or trying to make money but who knows really she said it's the right time she felt it's the right time for her to release a book we have to go on a short break now. When we get back, I'll be joined by the fierce and fearless Latasha Ungube. She's going to be talking about the full-figured fashion week that she attended, as well as the incident with Mo Cheddar. This is going to be juicy. You're watching The Gist. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. So with me in the studio is journalist, contributor, multimedia personality, Latasha Ungube. She has written columns for Complete Fashion. She's the editor of Pride Magazine. And she currently has her own column in Aleo Magazine every Sunday called Side Talk, Talk and, and Catwalk. Catwalks. Yes, it's nice to have you here, Latasha. Yay, I'm so wow. happy to be here in New York with you. Great. On the Toya C. Phillips, uh, on the, the gist, gist. <laughs> with Toya C. Phillips. I don't yes. know why it feels like it should be the Toya C. Phillips show, but I'll uh, get there. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're in New York. How's New York treated you? Um, it's been amazing. The weather has been great. I've never come to yes. New York in summer before, so yes. this is like a really strange feeling of seeing like that kind of sun. I went out for brunch <laughs> on Sunday, and the sun was burning my waist. Burning like, your waist. It was burning my waist. I felt like I was about to <laughs> become suya. 
I was like, no, I can't go to America and come back and be dark eyes. It's not yeah, done. No yeah. way. That's why a lot of people like ah, call me like winter. I know. And this thing. But you came for the full figured, fa- full figured fashion week. My bad. <laughs> I apologize. Full figured fashion week. Full figured fashion week. Why doesn't week. it get as much attention as the as um normal, you know regular, yeah, fashion, regular week. fashion week? Um. Well, first of all, it, this is its seventh year, which is still very no. like infantile. That is like. In baby terms, in fashion, that's like a baby. Okay. I mean, um, Mercedes Benz Fashion Week has been on for like decades, mm. so it will take a while. And then also, there is like I don't want to say it's a new movement because it's not new to have like fuller figured women yeah. and even men on the streets or whatever. But I think the idea of them being in fashion, being fashionable, mm. being trendy, wanting it's to new. be trendy, is becoming new in the fashion world. Right. So now you have designers who are focusing more on that you have a lot more celebrities who are on the plus sides mm. you know on the plus side of life you know black and white yeah. you know americans and africans so i feel like the our mentality worldwide is changing therefore i mean it's only natural that there would be something like that dedicated and also i guess if you're passionate about something, you have to do something about, about it. it. Nobody's exactly. just going to, it's not going to happen by itself. Yeah. Somebody has to make it happen. And Miss Gwen DeVoe, who is the founder of Full Figured Fashion Week, has taken that cause on and she's doing an amazing job. Yeah. It was a really awesome experience. Yeah. I was treated so well. Oh. I got front row. Okay, it now. was beautiful. Hello. I had an amazing time. <laughs> and then there was also the Curvy Con. So I was going to ask about that. The Curvy mm-hmm. Con, was it together with the Fashion Week? Well, it was on it was in the same week but there were two separate events full oh, figured okay. fashion week ran from sunday to sunday okay. and they had different events there was like pop-up shops there were seminars right. town hall meetings two runway events there was an all-white party and all that okay. curvy con was um two bloggers two plus-size bloggers um chastity garner of um garner style okay. and cc olisa who is actually a nigerian girl of um plus-size princesses oh. what it is is both of them decided you know what we are like online bffs whatever yeah. it would be awesome Awesome to meet other plus size bloggers who have a huge following and I'm sure loads of people know people like Gabby Fresh, mm. Amber Riley, Kiera Sheard. Oh, Kiera yeah. Sheard was amazing by the I way. I got to meet her. I saw selfie with huh. Kiera Sheard. It was, was off like, the hook. Hey. Like she saw me, she loved me, she was like I love you, I want to take a picture, Aww. I love your glasses. I'm like you know what, okay no problem, take my picture, whatever, let's have a selfie. <laughs> but you have to tag me and she's like oh sure I'll do it. I was like oh my god. You know, yeah. it's like normally you take a picture with a celebrity, and you post it on yeah. your on Instagram, yeah, but then she took it, like and it. I watch her on BET. I mm. love her. I love their show. She's so humble, so sweet. It was awesome. Yeah. So I saw your last uh, column, the <laughs> side talk and catwalks. Yes, you wrote about. A myriad of things. I talked yes, about, talked about four Nigerian men, actually, shout yeah, out, you know, the married men, mar- so. married men but you know. One, pa- one thing caught my eye, one thing in particular caught my eye, <laughs> your incident with Mo Cheda. Yeah. What was, what was that about? Um, You know, I have no personal, there's nothing personal, like personal beef with Mo Cheda. It's, it was very simple. We went to an event. Um, it was a tea party, a fashion tea party, and I went with a girlfriend of mine, Juliet David West, who is a huge fan of Bella Niger, by the way. Nice. Shout out, Jules. Got your camera <laughs> and your show as well. Yeah. And then um, we both Hi, attended Juliet. the show. Yeah, <laughs> we both attended the show, and um, we were asked to sit. You know, one of the organizers who invited me, she was like, oh, we can sit down on this table. And Mocheda was there, and I've interviewed her before. So, you know, I nodded, hi, hey, what's up? You know, that sort of thing. We sat down. Then she said to us, oh, um, that song was sitting there. And I thought I heard her say her dad. When I was like, your dad? Like, why is he here? You know, yeah. like, not why is he here, but like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You know, and she's like, no, my bodyguard. And I I was like, sorry, your what? She's like, her bodyguard. I'm like, oh, okay. Is he's here? She's like, yes. But he stepped out to get something. I'm like, okay. So if he comes back, my friend is supposed to stand up because your bodyguard was sitting there and um, she'll find another seat <laughs> elsewhere. But like, if he's your bodyguard, shouldn't he like be standing like behind, behind you, you, protecting you? She's like, oh, then you know, they're just like friends now. I should treat him like a friend. Wow. And I was like, okay, great. You know, no shade. You guys can be friends, whatever. But like, hello, bodyguard, sit down. My, f- come on. She, Okay, well, I'm trying to play the devil's advocate here. She's Please dating do. a prince, right? Okay, great. So she needs 
a bodyguard. So you don't have a problem with her having a bodyguard. There's, Whatever she's doing. Personally, her... right now, I'm looking for a bodyguard, actually, <laughs> because I'm, like, light-skinned. I don't want anyone to come coke me. I don't want to get dark. I don't want the sun to, like, beat That's me. Sure. No, I'm being serious here. So a bodyguard that will carry an umbrella for you? Who doesn't? <laughs> like, don't you want one? I want someone that will be, like, you know, lift me up when I'm tired. You know, my feet hurt. I just want to walk. I want to go get something across the street. He'll carry me on his shoulders. I do. But, like... <laughs> You know, that's yeah. good, but when I go to an event, he's probably going to have to stand behind me because it's for people yeah. who were invited, invited. to the show. Okay. So you invited Latasha. You didn't invite Latasha's bodyguard. If Latasha's bodyguard is there, his bodyguard will stand behind her. Okay. Let's talk about entertainment news. That's what this yeah. show is about. Mariah Carey. Mm. You know she broke up with Nick Cannon. Yes. And now she's dating apparently the fourth richest guy in Australia. He's worth four point something billion dollars mm -hmm. now they met like two weeks ago mm -hmm. but she spent father's day with him mm -hmm. with her kids mm -hmm. now people are upset why like, are they upset how do you take kids away from their father on father's day and then have them spending with a new guy where was their dad on father's day america okay did he say he wanted to spend time has he come out to say he's mad at the fact that his kids are with a billionaire in australia we don't know. Okay. <laughs> but like, you know, Mar it's Mariah now. It's Mariah. Mariah is the diva. She's like, she'll do whatever she wants. Before we round up, I saw in the same column you talked about Toke. Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't said, actually talk you talked about, about her. married men. I, I talked about married men. But I you talked sent, about like, you yeah, sent some love to, to the Morning him. Rose. Yeah. She's a very good friend of mine. She was actually my first friend in university. Oh. I was her first friend. Yes. So we knew. We, we've known each other from day one. Like mm. we were like teenagers and whatever. And um, the whole thing, you know, came as a huge surprise. It came as a huge surprise to me, you know. And I'm like. <laughs> Is this necessary? Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a lot. It's, it's a it lot is. to deal with. I don't think, to be honest, it's not a new story. It's not yeah. a new type of story. Where we come from, this stuff happens all the yeah. time. Yeah. The only thing is, she's this big media personality, personality. and it reflects somewhat not so great on her. Mm. You know, but then if we take her out of it, like I said, it's not it new. Happens it happens day. all the time. But you know, like if you guys have to, to the men, if you have to do it, you know, like, you know, just listening. like protect yourself. Yeah. Um, if you can't protect yourself, at least protect your woman, protect her yeah. ego, protect her pride. Yeah. Pay your side chick yeah. to be quiet. <laughs> pay yeah. her in dollars, pay her in pounds, pay yeah. her in bracelets and diamonds. And diamonds. Yeah. But beg her to keep it quiet. I don't want any woman popping up on my timeline, mm. making I making can't. announcements yeah. that I'm not ready for. Yeah. Consult me. Yeah. Let me that's, know. That's do you know what I mean? Yeah. Find a way around it or don't do it at all. Find a way around it or don't do it at all. <laughs> Thank you, Latasha. Thank Yay. you so much. Thank you for having um, me. Yeah, so... I have to catch up with her, but we'll be back after the break. Bye, Lagos. <laughs> <laughs>